I am live. I'm back. I'm back. Miss Helen is back once again. <laughs> Let's see who is here. Bob Ross. Sup, fam? Thank you, Bob Ross. You're the first one again. Hog mode. Serious question for you, Miss Helen. Does blood smell? Of course it does, hog mode. Blood smells. It is not odorless. <laughs> So it smells. From Axel F. Hey there. Axel F says it does not. Yes, it does. Axel, it does. It's not odorless. <laughs> it is not like water. I studied blood when I was taking my course in um, microbiology. So my, in microbiology Blood is not odorless. Uh, not, blood is not uh, odorless. Yes, it, it smells. <laughs> uh, from Hawk Mode, since you agree with me, do you, do you agree that it's tasty? Yes, I agree with you that it does smell, but I don't agree with you that it's tasty. It's not tasty. <laughs> it does not taste good. There, I agree with you there, Axel F. It tastes disgusting. Who would... Who would um, eat blood but actually you will be surprised that in my country um people eat blood uh a pig blood i think so when the blood when you put it in in uh, when it's cold or when you put it in the fridge it becomes solid it becomes solid and there is a way i don't know how for filipinos and I, some mexicans they cook the blood and it tastes good. Even my son loves it, but I don't eat it. So uh, it's made of uh, pork, uh, uh, pig, a pig blood or, yeah, I think it's a pig blood or maybe a cow, but it's blood. <laughs> it's definitely blood and you put it in the fridge and then it turns into solid and then they cut it and then you know, they cook it and, and they like the taste. So, <laughs> okie dokie. Uh, if you're talking about a different kind of blood, like the blood in Dracula movie, no, that's not that's not yummy. <laughs> anyway, I'm still waiting for, for some of you here. We have Bob Ross, Axel F, Hulk Mode, and Tyler James is there. <laughs> Tyler James, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler, you're saying it's yummy. Wow. <laughs> Maybe by if Dracula, if, if you're asking Dracula, then he would say, yep, it does taste good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So anyway, Tyler, I got your I got your email. So you sent me something that is so sweet. I'm gonna check my mailbox because I haven't checked it. Um I have two mailboxes, the one in Jacksonville and the one, they're both Jacksonville actually. Oh, I have three mailboxes actually. The one in Jacksonville where you sent me those um, Target uh, products. And then I have uh, a mailbox here in our apartment in Orange Park. And I have another mailbox that is a PO box. So I'm going to have to to check my my uh, mailbox and thanks again Tyler James so tonight is thank God it's Friday let's just have some fun but before that as usual I want to make some announcements right after this I uh, will also do the same thing thank God let's just thank God it's Friday let's just have some fun in the Johnny D channel that is going to be at 7 30 and I will end this day by doing a mini concert or publishing or live streaming a mini concert of Johnny D in my channel Helen Ruth Pinai Pride not any other channel, not Johnny B Game channel, but my own channel. Those are both mine anyway, but the this one that is just strictly or mostly about me <laughs> and not Johnny D songs or games. 
And also tomorrow, don't forget, we have three choices to watch me play Plants vs. Zombies. That's going to be a three, four, and five, all Plants vs. Zombies. And then back to the regular live streaming at 6 o'clock on my channel, 6.30 on Janity's channel, the one I call to my newest subscribers. Thank you. So this is the time that I am thanking all my newest subscribers. I do this every week. And then, of course, at 7 and 7.30, we will have our, um, tomorrow is Saturday, so we will have the uh, virtual hugs and kisses. No, actually, tomorrow is Saturday. Oh, my gosh, I thought it was like Sunday. So tomorrow, it's not my newest subscribers. Tomorrow, it's going to be virtual hugs and kisses. Oh, my gosh, I'm sorry about that. I was actually thinking that tomorrow is Sunday because today... Uh, the kids don't have school, so I thought it was a Saturday, but it's actually Friday because it's Good Friday, so there's no school. So tomorrow, it's going to be virtual hugs and kisses at at six at 7 and 7.30, but the first one is going to be the uh, questions and answers ask about anything. There you go. I'm glad I was able to clarify that. So... Done with the announcements, I am now going to go ahead and start our statements that you're going to fill up with uh, for me. So I have four here, Bob Ross, Axel, Mo, Axel F, Hulk Mode, and Tyler James. So we're just going to start. I think that's going to be easy because only four of you are going to be answering or, or filling up my statements. Let's see. Uh, before that, I would like to see if there's any other um, chat or comment that I have to address right now. Okay, not gonna read anything more about that blood thing. Uh, well, she said our couple name, Axel Mode. <laughs> Hope, I think you like that, huh? Axel Mode. <laughs> I think you like it, Axel Mode. I'm good, but lonely at home. Oh, don't be lonely, Tyler. Let's have some fun. It's time to have some fun. So I am going to go ahead and start with my statements here. And just, you don't have to be very specific. You know, you don't have to be serious in answering those these questions or statements. Just uh, the first thought that comes to your mind. Okie dokie. <laughs> and the first one. Actually, I have, I have a lot that was sent to me by Jimmy Boy. I hope Jimmy Boy is here because I'm going to be reading his the, the, uh, the statements that he sent me. And by the way, if you can help me with this um, streaming of asking these questions or statements, kindly email them to me at mrsdnmore at gmail.com. Because like today or tonight, I'm reading those that were sent to me by Jimmy Boy, some of them. But I'm going to start with... With these ones first, and then I will um, go to the ones that Jimmy Boy sent me. Thank you so much, Hog Mode, for posting my Gmail. That is going to be very helpful for those who will be uh, watching this as a video later on, even though they're not here at the moment. Now I go to the first one. <laughs> Your boyfriend or girlfriend gave a hysterical reply when his or her soulmate asked, will you marry me? Your boyfriend or girlfriend's response was, so what was that hysterical reply? When his or her soulmate asked, will you marry me? Let's see. So I have four here who will give me the uh, answers. Remember, guys, it's a hysterical reply. Will you marry me? What was your friend's hysterical reply? From Hawk Mode, Axel and I are getting married, and, and, I, and I never got a hysterical response. Okay, that's good. But pretending your boyfriend or girlfriend gave a hysterical reply when the soulmate asked, will you marry me? The historical reply was, let's see. Ew, no. <laughs> That's a nice answer, Tyler James. Ew, no. 
I would say maybe, uh, are you for real just now? Why were, Why are you asking me just now? <laughs> so any historical reply that you can think of. I'm waiting for Axel F, Hawk Mode, and Bob Ross. I don't get what I'm supposed to, to say. <laughs> okay, I think Axel, Axel F, I, I, I need to clarify it more. So Axel F, Pretending that let's pretend that you have a you have a friend. You have a friend, a dear friend of yours, who was uh, proposed to. Your friend, whether a boy or a girl, somebody proposed to him or her and said, Will you marry me? What would be your friend's hysterical reply? <laughs> Axel, this is me in this situation. <laughs> Hot <Heart> mode. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I don't think I can say that here in, in the in, in the live stream with your tiny mm -mm, no get away. <laughs> so I think half mode, I know I know what you want. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Tyler. Oh my gosh, half mode with your tiny. Mm -mm. No, get away! <laughs> it's a penile device. <laughs> I want Axel to get an extension. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is there a way to get an extension? Maybe Tyler, you can help me answer that. I know you're in the medical field. <laughs> Is there a way to, to, to extend? Oh, my gosh. By the way, anyway, let's end this. <laughs> let's go to the next question. The next question or statement. The only reason I am at school or at work in your case is the only reason I am at school or at work is. Yeah, they take fat out of your arm and give you a... <laughs> They take a fat out of your arm. That's silly. Half mode, you made that up. From Tyler James. Yes, Miss Helen. I will take Tyler James' answer. Yes, there is a way to extend it. <laughs> okay. The only reason I am at school or work in your case, whatever your case is, the only reason I am at school or work is from half mode, no, from Axel F, there are nice people there. Good answer. So I think I would stay at school if there are nice people there. Actually, um, my son was telling me bef uh, just, just a week ago when, when he was skipping, I asked, uh, Michael, why are you not at school? And he said, because it's not fun to be there. <laughs> so for him, it's not fun. But some people really do want to stay at school or at work. And I want to know your reason. The only reason I am at school or at work is from half mode. I think there is a little delay, so I'm going to give it give time because half mode is still answering or talking about the previous question. From half mode, because school is so fun and exciting and fun. Did I mention it's fun? Oh, I'm really glad that you're having fun at school, Hulk Mode. That's nice to know. From Tyler James, because I like working as much as I can. Ooh, hard worker here. Tyler James, thank you. That's a nice answer. From Axel F, I don't know. I don't know anyone that thinks that school is fun. <laughs> so Axel is one of those who thinks that school is not fun. Okie dokes. I think Bob Ross is not here at the moment. I was just saying that since you worked as a teacher. Who works as a teacher, Hulk Mode? Is anybody here who works as a teacher? Okay, I am going to go ahead with my next statement. I was asked, I was asked to give my friend something old and something new. I was asked to give my friend something old and something new. I will give my friend, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what would that be? That's the fill in the blank. I was asked to give my friend something old and something new. I will give my friend, 
what would that be? My, <laughs> my old ex? You're going to give away your old ex? Okay, well, what about the new? Don't tell me you're also going to give away your new boyfriend. Ah, that's not nice, Axel F. So what are you going to be giving away? Uh, something old and something new. Let's hear from Tyler. What is Tyler going to give away? Something old and something new. My new fruit salad from Axel F. What about hot mode? Hot mode, what are you going to give? Something old, something new. I'm thinking, uh, what could I give? Something old. I'm not going to give away my new electronics. <laughs> new plastic surgery. For <laughs> A new plastic surgery for their old face. You got it covered, Tyler James. You got it covered, both old and new. <laughs> From Hulk mode, I would give them my heart, which is old and broken. And I would also give them my soulless body, which is a newfound thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's interesting, Hulk mode. That's interesting. I will go to the next question or statement. I saw a big tree fell and blocked the road. I saw a big tree and fell. I saw a big tree fell and blocked the road. I will. What are you going to do? You just saw a big tree fell and blocked the road. So I will blank. Drive around it from Axel F. Ooh adventurous and risky you're adventurous and risky you're gonna drive around it oh not on top of it so you're just gonna drive around it what if there's no place to drive around it i was actually thinking you're gonna go or drive on it so i thought that was risky hook up the cable and move it oh very creative tyler it's okay <laughs> It's okay, I got a bike. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. I was just thinking that you, everybody's driving a car. Oh my goodness, Axel F, smart. It's okay, I got a bike. Good, good, good answer. I like that. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go start uh, as, uh, asking you or reading these statements from Jimmy Boy. I think most of you know Jimmy Boy. I, I'm wondering why Jimmy Boy is not here. Uh, from Jimmy Boy. If I could spend a day with a Disney character, I would choose. If I could spend a, a day with a Disney character, I would choose. Who's your answer? From hot mode, from the up, uh, from the previous question or statement, I will head the opposite direction until I travel. I until I travel the whole way around the world to get to the, to the other side. Oh my goodness. So you're just going to travel the opposite direction. That's that's a good idea. Uh, by Axel F, in Sweden, you can't have a car until you're 18, but you can have a bike at 15. Oh, that's good to know. Thanks for the information. Lighting McQueen from Axel F. Okay, so our next um, statement from Jimmy Boy. Again, if I could spend a day with a Disney character, I would choose, let me see, who's going to be mine? Mm, I don't like to be with a princess. I think it's going to be boring <laughs> to spend with a princess. Not really sure. From Hulk mode, in the UK, you can have a car when you're 17, but you can't buy a pair of scissors until you're 21 or something. Come on. That's a joke. <laughs> no. Uh, from Tyler James. Cinderella. I've always loved her. Oh, Cinderella. Yeah. Whoa. Is she the, she's the one who fell asleep 100 years, right? 
Yeah, I think that would be nice, Cinderella. But for me, I think I would choose uh, somebody like <laughs> somebody who's crazy <laughs> and and uh, and maybe I think I want to spend time with Gaston, Gaston in the Beauty and the Beast, so that I could smack his face maybe, or <laughs> I could I could tell him how how awful he is, or maybe discourage him from being so proud. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> from Axel F, some genie that gives me wishes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the genie from the Al Aladdin, the movie Aladdin. That would be nice. I didn't think of that. Uh, yeah, the glass sleeper from Tyler James. Cinder oh, glass sleeper. I was thinking, oh my goodness, what, what happened to my memory? I was thinking of Beauty and the Beast. No, no, Beauty and the Beast, the Sleeping Beauty, the Sleeping Beauty. So what's the name of that princess in the Sleeping Beauty? Did she have a name? Because Cinderella is the one with the glass slippers. Oh, my gosh, how stupid. <laughs> um, so the Beauty and the Beast that I was actually thinking, did she have a name? That princess, I can't remember. I just know her. Um I know that she fell asleep for like a hundred years. Uh, I would spend all day with that child with braces from Finding Nemo. Oh, I think I know what you meant, Hulk Mode. Yep. <laughs> she seems nice. Uh, oh, Aurora. Tyler actually knows. Aurora. I didn't know that. So she has a name. Huh. So she fell asleep because she pricked her finger, right? Okay, anyway, <laughs> the next one. My favorite way to relax after a long, hard day is to... My favorite way to relax after a long, hard day is to... Let me know how you relax after a long, hard day. Take a jobby. What's a jobby? My favorite way to relax after a long, hard day is to drink energy drinks and game or sleep. That's a good answer. My favorite way to relax after a long, hard day is to sit in front of my computer and just browse, navigate, sleep with my baby from Hulk mode. <laughs> Uh, how about uh, Tyler? Let's see if Tyler has an answer for this. My favorite way to relax after a, a long, hard day is to eat frozen fruit in a super hot... Really? That's interesting. Eat frozen fruit in a super hot bath. Interesting. Hmm. You're having a super hot bath and then you're eating frozen food. I think that is I think that is healthy for the body. I think that's healthy for the body. It's like a water therapy. Good, good, good answer, Tyler James. Uh, listen to Flower of Sky Hulk Mode. That's how I relax. Huh. Okay. The next one is I only have two more because uh, I need to stop. Be, uh, I need to be at uh, Janity's channel at seven thirty. The ideal number of drinks on New Year's Eve is. The ideal number of drinks on New Year's Eve is what would be the ideal number of drinks on New Year's Eve? Let's see. From Tyler James from the previous statement, yeah, I love frozen fruit and hot baths. I think I'm going to try that one time, Tyler. That's interesting. I think that's that's good for the body. It's like a water therapy. You're, you're, you're having a hot bath at the same time you're <laughs> you're eating frozen fruit. Uh, I can't find the infinity symbol. <laughs> you can't find the infinity symbol. Oh, so that means infinity. There is no number. It's You just keep on drinking. The ideal number of drinks on New Year's Eve. When I can't remember how many, <laughs> when I can't remember how many drinks I had. Oh, now I know Tyler James drinks. I know. <laughs> I got you there. I think eight turn that sideways. <laughs> you must be drunk by then. 
Okay, the last one, the last one. The most difficult to obey in the Ten Commandments is, the most difficult to obey or to follow in the Ten Commandments is, let's see from Axel F, Hawk Mode and Tyler James. What is the most difficult to follow or to obey in the Ten Commandments? Uh, don't don't tell me it's not the uh, thou shall not commit adultery. I think that's number eight. Thou shall not commit adultery. Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not covet thy neighbor's goods. Thou shall not what else? I don't know the Ten Commandments, but I'm guessing no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay <laughs> the most difficult to obey in the ten commandments is i think maybe i should tell you the ten commandments you shall have no other gods before me you shall not make uh, you shall not make idols you shall not take the name of the lord your god in vain keep the sabbath day holy honor your father and your mother you shall not kill you shall not commit adultery you shall not steal you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor and so those are the commandments you shall not covet your neighbor's goods let's see <laughs> what is your answer uh, i can't kill and steal <laughs> you don't know the ten commandments oh my gosh okay that's understandable nobody i, I mean not everybody knows it. What's this Einstein language? <laughs> it's Einstein language for you. Uh, wow, that's pretty. What? Okay. Uh, I'm waiting for Tyler. Tyler, do you have an answer? Uh, shoot, I forgot it was Friday from Bob Ross. Okay. I'm waiting for, for uh, you shall not pass from Axel F. I'm waiting for Tyler if, if she has an answer. The most difficult to obey in the Ten Commandments is. Uh, okay, I think I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Tyler. I got to go in one minute. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe everything is going to, it's not going to be difficult for Tyler to, uh, to obey. I think, I think you're a good person. You don't. You're following the Ten Commandments, so that, that's good. I don't read the Bible from Bob Ross. <laughs> Tyler, just stay, just say stealing. No, Tyler, no Hulk mode. Don't let Tyler say something that's... <laughs> uh, I think Tyler, she's pretty much obeying all the Ten Commandments, so that's it. Uh, Bob Ross is a Christian. Okay, guys, thank you so much for keeping me company. I, I enjoyed this uh, live stream with you tonight, although there's just like four of you. Uh, is the Ten Commandments an American thing? <laughs> I'm going to steal Hulk Moses' answer. <laughs> okay, thank you again. Thank you for keeping me company. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Ha! <laughs> wow, you big thief. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just reading. I'm just reading, okay? Hugs and kisses from me. See you later, guys. Love you all. <laughs>